there are some games where you never find yourself in trouble and end up winning them comfortably. Now, this was one of them. Hey guys, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga, and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played yesterday. Now, uh, I was playing as white here, uh, and I started off with d4. Open responds with d5. Bishop uh, to g5, uh, which generally prevents opponent play from playing e6. Open develops the knight, therefore, uh, on to c6. I play c3, open plays a bishop to f5, trying to develop the light square bishop first and then maybe play pawn forward eventually after developing the knight because still the pin is there. So I continue with my development, creating a pyramid in the center now by playing e3. It's a nice uh, pawn chain where the bishop is out from the pawn chain, so it will not hamper my bishop or any of my pieces development. Uh, open now finally plays knight to f6. Uh, I go for uh, uh, bishop exchange, offering the opponent, which opponent does take. I take back with the queen. And now a knight to e4 by opponent, attacking the bishop. Bishop comes back on the same diagonal, still preventing the pawn forward from uh, e6. Opponent plays f6, preparing for g5 next, so that my bishop can be pushed further and then the opponent can take. Here I played a knight to d2, asking knights to be exchanged. Opponent goes back with a knight onto d6, which allows me to develop Again, one of my more pieces, uh, as you see, all my mi minor pieces are out, but opponent's dark square bishop is still trapped there. It has nowhere to go. Both the pawns haven't been uh, displaced from the original position yet. So that's a challenge for uh, black side here. So opponent finally plays uh, e6. Now, uh, this allows uh, a good move, which is a knight to e5 as well because opponent can take with the knight and then i'll take with the pawn pressurizing the pawn further on f6 remember you cannot take because the pin still holds on so it is kind of tricky uh so opponent thought let's develop the bishop instead uh, let the knight hanging uh, be hanging there and i took him took on the knight opponent does take back here i bring back my bishop because uh, opponent could have even gone for a g5 or play pawn forward and then in that case again i have to move the bishop so i was trying to be pre uh, proactive there just uh, anticipating the move and moving my bishop away before anything that of that sorts happen open castles on the king side uh, i go with a knight to b3 uh, trying to now go on uh, to maybe uh, c5 which would attack the pawn and can land into a fork as well open saw that coming uh, and places knight to f5 pre preventing me from going here because then open can take with the bishop and i take back and as a result i will also have uh, a bad pawn structure just like my opponent and i lose the knight as well which can be handy here uh, and then opponent is willing to maybe take the bishop as well uh, but that helps me open up the h file for the attack if you are liking this video, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll not, of course, force, and I cannot force, but I can always request. So it's a request. Please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, and you will be notified daily because I am putting up some content daily. Let's continue with this game. Uh, I go with knight to a5 instead. Change of plans, attacking a pawn, uh, and maybe pre uh, preparing for a uh, knight to uh, b7 as well then maybe coming back to c5 couple of options there open places queen uh, to d7 which allows me now to play queen to a6 uh, pressurizing the pawn further now open had to move the pawn forward because otherwise there's no point uh, open will lose the pawn uh, because i had two attackers and op uh, opponent had uh, just one defender there so open moved the pawn up uh, and i gave queen for exchange because after that my knight is pretty good there attacking a bishop which open thought that open can leave and played pawn forward uh, took on my pawn which i take back now taking back with which pawn is also important uh, if you are willing to castle on the queen side then 
for a while you can take with the e-pawn if you're preparing to cast on the king side take with the d, uh, uh, the c pawn as well because then you will open up the c file as well i took with the uh, c pawn uh open take now gets the bishop onto uh d6 trying to exchange the bishops and i took on here opponent will have double pawns in the center which would be bad and here i castle opponent uh, plays pawn forward trying to break open the center i want the opponent to take here because i don't want this double pawn to be fixed so i just continue with my plan uh planting my rook in the open file also would defend the knight open tries to attack uh my knight here pin the knight there because if i remove the knight open can definitely take uh, sorry open can take and i can take back uh which again would be bad because i will have control of the open file have controlling the open files in chess is always important uh but this lands into a big mistake because now i can go for g4 what g4 does is trap this knight uh you cannot uh, go it backwards because i can take open can go uh to g6 but which loses the control of the important e7 squares which will land into a good folk and lose down the material eventually so open uh, here takes the pawn instead which allows me to capture the knight and then open plays uh rook to f7 again uh which uh leads to this rook is not defended now on c8 uh, so i can just give a check and uh, go exchange up as well uh, and in the process what happened is i got an extra knight which is a serious advantage open plays king forward uh, on to f8 here i take on the pawn so that these pawns are of no use to the opponent and in this position my opponent resigns because again i had an extra rook pawn structure if you see is decent enough i had an extra pawn on the queen side i can simply exchange the rooks by doubling up here and then grab one of them and then just keep pushing and i'll be queening very quickly and doing a quick checkmate from there on so never broke a sweat in this game i would say was completely comfortable if i even see the average 20 pawn loss here was 22 which is decent enough uh, against 59 from my opponent the graph looks good too so yeah a, a good game of chess where it was completely comfortable throughout i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content as always thanks for your time take care bye bye